Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for You. This morning we're going to take a look at downloading and installing Smalltalk X, and I'm going to grab the Windows version because I'm running on Windows 7 here. Over here I'll give you one small pointer. If you try to get to this page with Chrome, at least Chrome on Mac OS X, the download links or any of the links here in the sidebar don't work. I brought up inter either Internet Explorer or Firefox, everything worked fine. So I'm going to come over here to download. And then over here I'm going to scroll down and it gives me a bunch of options, Windows, Linux. I'm going to pick Windows. And then I have an optional form I can fill out. I've already filled it out once, so I'm going to just continue with download. Once I tell Internet Explorer that it's fine to, so I'll say download file. And at this point it's going to start downloading Win32.zip. Now once it's finished, I have to extract everything and then it puts it into a folder. I'm going to go in here to the folder STX where I put it and I'm going to go to projects and then I'm going to go to Smalltalk and from here I can just type Smalltalk and what it'll do is it'll bring up this little start screen where it's bringing everything in because it kind of builds the image dynamically for me. Now if you do this the first time you're going to be prompted with a license screen telling you that you either have to accept or reject the license. I've already done that, but once you do that, it comes up with this. You have a workspace and a launcher, and you're ready to get started with your first Smalltalk X project. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever Smalltalk you're using.